Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're at a new spot. We're gonna try fishing today. All right, so let me explain to you how I got permission to fish on this property. The farmer that owns this happens to know the farmer where I hunt his property that's got the pond and I fish in his pond. You've seen many videos from there. They know each other. I met this farmer that owns this property yesterday and we got to talking and this and that and I didn't ask for permission to hunt or fish here. Um, he offered it to me. He said he had talked to Paul, the, par the farmer that owns the other property who has mentioned me before and that I hunt on his property and I fish on his property and I don't leave garbage laying around and I'm not disrespectful. So that's that's exactly how you get the permission to hunt and fish on other people's property. And yes, I brought Ella this morning. Hi everybody! And I wanted to tell you guys that today is a special day with somebody in my family. Can I tell them? No. Why? Why? I want to What's talk a special day? It's not because it's Sunday, but it won't be Sunday when you're watching this video because it's Bank Thursday and today is someone in my family's birthday! Whose birthday is it? My grandma's! And yes, I'm wearing a ring. <laughs> you think I might be able to finish her? <laughs> Alright, give me a second. And we have a cherry chip cake. Yeah, yeah, you turn the camera on and here she comes. Again, be respectful. People will let you hunt and fish on their property if you're respectful. If they don't want you on their property and they say no, and like I said before, thank you very much for your time and go on about your way. Yeah. While we were talking about fishing here, he mentioned to me that he has a goose problem. You all know that I have waterfowl. He says, you're welcome to come in here anytime during goose season and, and hunt geese, ducks, hunt whatever you want. He just opened up his whole property to me. Again, it's because you're being respectful. Anyway, let's see if we can get some fish out of here. Alright guys, one issue that we do have is this particular pond is surrounded by brush. Okay, and I noticed that this is my first time being actually here and you cannot walk all the way around here. So next time I come, I'm going to have to bring my kayak. The only spot you can fish from is right here where Ella's standing. Right where I am. And you got a spot of about 15, 20 feet that we can cast out into. He has no idea how deep this is. It does look deep. Uh, it goes out for about eight feet and then it looks like it just drops right off. Now, in speaking with the farmer, the dirt from this pond was used to build some highway out here back in the day. So, I'm guessing it's pretty deep out in the middle. Well, folks, we spent about 20 minutes here and like I said, you can't walk around the pond. So, I'm going to have to come back with my kayak. I didn't get any bites, which is not a big deal. When you're learning a new body of water, it takes a while and I was trying to adjust my bait to figure out how deep I was gonna have the jig head for the crappy not knowing how deep the water is out there you gotta try and feel the bottom so what I think I'm gonna do next time I come back I'm gonna bring my kayak back and I'm gonna go through the whole pond and try and figure out how deep it is I might put my fish finder on my kayak so that I can get a readout of the water and figure out exactly what's going on in there as far as the big pond over here the big 10 acre pond um, I didn't try and fish that yet. The wind is blowing directly out of the south, so I'd be casting into the wind, and that creates its own set of problems. But either way, I'm happy to have this property to fish and hunt on. Again, it's all about being respectful. But uh, we're going to vacate out of here, and we're going to head down to the creek. Let's see if we can get some crappy out of the creek. All right, guys, switched over to the chest mount camera. Apologize in advance for the wind. Um, I know nothing about this creek right here, whether there's fish in it or not. I can see what looks like fish trails on the top of the water. I don't know if it's fed or it's standalone. Let's find out.
Oh, something just went after my minnow there. Okay, so there's fish in here. There he goes. Hope it's a crappy. Oh, sunfish. Okay, so that was a sunfish. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Imagine that. Folks, largemouth bass are not in season. Folks, they're not in season. He's a healthy looking bass though. So. We're looking for the crappie. I'm just shocked at all that there's fish in here, period. So there's the setup. It's just a small bobber, small minnow. Hoping to find some crappie in here, but we'll see. Okay. I'm gonna guess this may be a couple of feet deep at the most. There you go, we got a bite on it now. I don't know what it is. So like I said, this, what I thought was just a standalone creek, an overflow of some kind. I don't know that it's connected to the river at all. I don't think you can see them, but I can see fish swirls out there. But uh, I think they might be some, from some pretty big fish. I'm assuming they're largemouth or pike. We want the crappie. Yeah, something just swam up behind my bobber there. Hey guys, so y'all want to know the fastest way for me to quit fishing? Here it is. Now I can live with the fact that he's there. What bothers me is when I go to check on him again and he's not there and I don't know where he's at. It's time for me to pack up and move on. Now he had to be a 12 footer. Minus about 10 feet, but nevertheless, he had teeth, huge teeth. Swallowed me up. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for fishing today. Ella's getting bored. We got skunked. Saw a snake. Not impressed. Yeah, we saw a snake. It was a water snake. Luckily, it was not venomous. Otherwise, I probably would have freaked out because snakes are probably the worst animals. I think I would freak out worse than she would. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I always show you whether I, when I'm fishing, whether I catch something or not. I'm just trying to keep it real. If I don't catch anything, I gotta go home and make a burger. If I catch anything, I'm gonna go home and make some fish. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out! Peace out. <laughs>